top of international cuisine and pasta is one of the top recipes in my list. A tasty sauce, tossed veggies and perfectly boiled pasta. Get all these three things together and you're good to go. And the recipe that I'm going to make now combines all three of them in a simple delicious way. I'm going to make the white sauce first. For that I'm going to heat some butter. Then add some plain flour or all purpose flour and just cook it for a few seconds. Once it changes color a little bit, I'm going to add the milk. Keep whisking and bring it to a boil. Cook it till it's nice and thick. The sauce is nice and thick now and I'm going to get it off the flame. In another pan, I'm going to heat some more butter. Once the butter melts, I'm going to add in some finely chopped onions. Let them cook for a few seconds. garlic paste some chopped capsicum and zucchini or any other vegetables that you have at home just let them cook for a few seconds next I'm going to add some tomato pulp I've just boiled the tomatoes for six to seven minutes and then peel off the skin and just half churn them and let the tomato pulp cook for at least 7 to 8 minutes. I'm also going to add the seasoning ingredients, some ketchup, tear in some fresh basil leaves, dry oregano, red chili flakes, stir this properly and let this cook. The tomatoes have dried out completely and I'm going to add just a little bit of water to deglaze the pan. And now I'm going to add the white sauce into this. Mix it too properly. some cheese. If you feel that the sauce is way too thick, don't add any milk now because there's tomatoes and ketchup and all, there are chances that the milk might curdle. So if you want to liquefy it a little bit, you can add some water. So just a little bit of water so that it coats the pasta properly. salt to taste. I've added enough for the pasta as well. And now I have some boiled penne over here that I'm going to add into this sauce. And this pasta is ready to serve. some red chilli flakes. I have some finely chopped parsley or you can even chop some basil leaves. Serve this pasta with some garlic bread and enjoy to the hilt. Subscribe to the channel and comment below. Till then, pasta la vista!